Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and welcome to this week's new makeup release video. The series where I give you my brutally honest opinions on all the new releases in makeup. So, let's just go ahead and get into it. So, first off, if you're wondering what is on my eyes right now, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> there will be, hopefully, a haul video and a first impression video on this look, so stay tuned for that later on this week. And this is probably going to be the shortest new makeup release video ever because... Last week's video went up late. I literally filmed this like four days ago. So I don't have a whole lot of releases to talk about, but I do want to get back to my regularly scheduled programming. So I am going to go ahead and cover the new items that we have, starting, surprisingly, not with ColourPop. A whole four days have gone by and they haven't released anything. So this week we are going to be starting out with Natasha Denona and she will be releasing the new Glam Face Palette. This will include two cream face products, a blush and a glow, and five eyeshadows. So I don't see a price here, but it's not going to be cheap as Natasha Denona. I think this is really pretty. It's not anything extraordinarily unique. You probably already have these shades in other palettes, but for an all-in-one face and eye palette, this seems like a really great option. You've got five eyeshadows that you could probably get a couple different looks out of. This might be great for travel. Take it with you. You've got your face products, eye products all in one place. I love that these are deeper shades. We are seeing an option for people with a deeper complexion. That's always great to see. I think it's pretty. If you are maybe wanting to try out the brand and you wanted to get face products and eyeshadows all in one place, this might also be a great option. And it's probably a really pretty Christmas gift as well. So again, I don't see a price on this and it will be coming soon to their website and Sephora if you are interested. So next up we have a few Disney collabs as per usual. I swear, Disney just hands out the rights to their stuff left and right, like free samples at Costco. So first here we have a collab between Disney and Beauty Bay. There will be two different eyeshadow palettes, the Bambi palette and the Alice in Wonderland palette, along with a hand mirror. So these are just two little six pan all matte shadow palettes. Um, they're okay. They seem a little a little light, a little bit more pastel. They're not my favorite color stories. They are pretty tiny. I also don't see prices on these either. They're okay. Nothing to write home about. Um, I would never buy an all matte palette. That's just not my thing. I do think the Mickey Mouse embossed in the pans is very pretty. Packaging is pretty on both of these. I'm gonna say these are more of like collector's items or maybe like a gift for someone that is a huge fan of either movie, but it's okay. Overall, just all right. So not for me, but all of this will be available November 1st in case you were interested. And we have another Disney collab here. These are both holiday, but I'm just kind of putting everything together because I only have a few releases this week. So. This collab is between Disney and Spectrum Brushes. So there will be five different sets and each set will include six mini brushes for foundation, cheeks, eyes, and brows. And each set will be $43 each. So there's an Ursula set, a Cruella, a Minnie Mouse, a Marie, and an Evil Queen. First of all, the little bag that these come in is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Spectrum Brushes does some beautiful brush sets. I think the packaging on all of these is absolutely stunning. Like how beautiful of a gift would this be? You wouldn't even have to wrap it. Just like present it in the little gift bag that it comes in. Absolutely gorgeous. Brushes are all very pretty. I do actually like the Cruella brushes the most. The like half black and white bristles is so pretty. So overall, very cute. I think all of these are very nicely done. I think they would also make beautiful Christmas gifts and they're not too crazy expensive. So these will be coming soon to their website in case you were interested. So next up, we do have a quick Halloween release. Although by the time you see this, it will be the day after Halloween. So don't mind my decorations. They're going to stay up until I take them down, which will probably be in like three months. But we do have a Halloween release from Besame Cosmetics, and this is their Halloween Black Spider Lipstick. 
So it says, inspired by the style and elegance of Victorian Gothic fashion, a sheer blackberry tone lipstick with a berry flavor. It goes on black and adjusts to your personal pH for your own signature deep berry shade. And this will be $28. I'm surprised it's not like $128. But packaging on this is very pretty. I do like the kind of unique aspect that it goes on black and that it adjusts to your own pH. And it's berry flavored. That's a great touch. This is very pretty. It's probably gonna be a little late by the time you see this, but if it is still available, I think this is a beautiful collector's piece as well. Anyone that's really into Halloween and makeup would probably love this. So this one here is available now in case you are interested. So next we have something that is it just ridiculous. So this is a fragrance from House of Silage. And this is their 80th anniversary Wonder Woman limited edition fragrance. So this one says this charismatically sultry and bold fragrance empowers you with a fearless flair to find your truth and passionately pursue your authentic destiny. Boy, that description was incredibly unnecessary. The fragrance cap is designed in precious metal, 18 karat yellow gold, red and blue enamel that portrays Wonder Woman's powerful silhouette. The fragrance cap rim is encrusted with hand-placed diamond-cut star-shaped Swarovski crystals, Swarovski crystals that emulate Wonder Woman's iconic star motif. Over a hundred hand-placed diamond-cut Swarovski crystals, hand-polished French glass and a red-blue ombre finish, a cap with 18 karat yellow gold plated finish for $395. Listen, first of all, I think the W with like the face silhouette in it looks kind of really weird and it's very hard to read if you don't know what it's supposed to be. Second of all, this damn thing better turn me into Wonder Woman the second I spray it on myself for $395. Who in their right minds pays $400 for a fragrance? I don't care how many Swarovski crystals you encrust onto this thing, it's not $400 worth. This is ridiculous. So needless to say, this is not for me, but it is available now in case it's for you. So next up, I have an indie release, and this is the new Fall Magic Palette from Alien Cosmetics. So it is 12 shades. I don't see a price, but... I have heard great things about Alien Cosmetics. A few of my favorite YouTubers that focus more on these smaller indie brands have really been raving about this brand lately. And can I just say, I love this color story. Something about the purples with that teal and the warm colors mixed together is just absolutely beautiful. The swatches look incredible as well. I also like the packaging. I love the fall leaves on the front. This is really pretty. I've never tried Alien Cosmetics, but I have to say this palette looks stunning. So this one here will be available November 1st, in case you are interested. So next up, we do have two new releases from Nabla Cosmetics, and they will be releasing their Two Reasons face palettes and their Freckle Maker. So the Two Reasons palettes are a multi-talented duo that encloses two different textures. Cream color gives a fresh, radiant, and a naturally flushed effect to the lips and cheeks. And the Glossy Balm is a transparent finisher that adds luminosity to the lips and high points of the face. Apply to each and blend for a diffused effect coming in four different shades. And the Freckle Maker is a weightless tint designed for drawing on faux freckles. So, first of all, packaging on these little face duos is gorgeous love the gold textured front I don't know about the palette this like glossy face thing is not for me I can already feel my hair sticking to my face um it is different it is something we have not seen from them and you also can use it on your lips so it's a multi-use product definitely not my kind of product it's also a blush I'm not a huge fan of blush so I will give them points for being innovative and different. 
I like the range of colors. They've definitely got some unique shades in here. And as for the Freckle Maker, I think they're a little late on the faux freckle pen thing, but also not my thing. I tried it once and I looked a little crazy, so I will give it to them. They are coming out with some unique, different products. Definitely not something we've seen from a lot of brands. This like face gloss thing is a bit of a trend, but not a huge trend, so I will give them points for originality. So I don't see prices on either of these, but Nabla is a mid-range brand, so it's probably not going to be too crazy. And they will both be launching on nablacosmetics.com on November 4th, in case you were interested. So next up, we have a new palette coming from Ace Beauté. And this is their Tropical Vibes palette. It will include 15 shades, mattes, shimmers, and metallics. I did recently hear that Ace Beauté reformulated all of their shadows because honestly I have never really heard anybody really love shadows from this brand but the color story is beautiful, great for this time of year. Don't know why it's tropical vibes, they're a little off. I think this is more like grungy swamp queen than like tropical forest but you know, packaging is pretty. I like the design on the front, very beautiful. I have been very much enjoying green eyeshadows lately, but this is a lot of green eyeshadows. I would have loved to see either be a smaller palette or throw some different colors in here to kind of mix it up, but overall not bad. I'm glad to see Ace Beauté kind of reworking their stuff and coming out with some new stuff for people to try. So this one here will be $38.99 and... It is available now in case you are interested. So last up here we have one non-makeup release. Jacqueline Hill has revealed that she will be coming out with a new brand and this is Jacqueline Roxanne by Jacqueline Hill and this is a new brand for jewelry and accessories. So it does look like she's got a ton of things releasing for her first drop. She's got necklaces. They range in price from $40 to $165. She's also got earrings that seem to range from $40 to about $65. Tons of different options. She has shown pictures of most of them. I don't really watch her videos, so I don't know if she's done like an official release video on any of this, but none of this looks like it's really my particular style, but I'm kind of all over the place. I'm cool with cheap Walmart earrings. I literally have a pack of earrings here from Walmart that cost me $4.88 and there is six pairs. So that's my jewelry style. So probably won't be picking any of this up either, but I think Jekyll Hill has definitely been on a roll lately, dropping constantly with her makeup brand and she's got something new. So congratulations to her. I'm not, you know, team let's all cancel Jekyll Hill, but We'll see. Hopefully this launch goes better than the Jacqueline Hill Cosmetics Lipstick Gate. But anyways, this will all be available November 4th in case you were interested. So that was it for this week's new makeup release video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to come back next Monday and every Monday. And please consider liking, subscribing, and coming back for some more content. Bye!